What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Freshweed here, I'm bringing you another My Universe uh, episode. I'm just here starting off because I want to let you guys know some stuff. I did edit the shows for Monday Night Raw, as you guys can see. I edited, edited the titles, I brought back the Spinner US title because that's my favorite US title. I brought back the OG Tag Championship and I brought back the big Golden World title. And as for the show itself, I brought back the Raw 1314 Arena. And then I kind of did the same thing for, for, um, what you guys know, we won't be living in an apartment with that dog. And for sp I swear it's impossible to record in this fucking house because of this dog. As I was saying, for SmackDown, as you guys can see, I brought back the actual WWE Championship. I re I can't change that right now because I think it's I, I think it's because I'm in the rankings for the Intercontinental Championship. But I was gonna change that to the you know the one from like that that went went away in, th in 2011. If you guys know what, what I'm talking about, the small globe one. And I brought back the WWE Tag Team Championships from 02 to 010, which they unified. But I. Decided to keep them separate to change it up because it's I don't want you know the same willy nilly stuff But the only things I didn't change was the women's championships the women's tag team titles Which I'm probably gonna get rid of probably not I'm not sure yet and you know the money in the bank briefcases. I didn't bother with those Changing those I did want to add in another title, but at the same time I kind of didn't because the We we already have the Intercontinental Championship and whatnot but uh, and you guys can probably guess what I did for the Smack new SmackDown arena. Uh, they, I don't get it. They have the thirteen fourteen SmackDown arena, but they don't have the but for, I mean thirteen fourteen Raw arena, but for SmackDown they only have the two two thousand arena. So it is what it is, you know. But yeah, I decided to change some stuff for the uh universe universe mode. Uh, I didn't touch 205 Live because who fucking cares about that and I didn't touch NXT because that's great as is and I'm gonna do this again for you know whatever other universe modes I decide to do besides the Buttermania one I plan on doing in the future but yeah I just wanted to tell you guys what I did but anyways let's get into the video okay I guess we're just kicking it off oh shit I thought I had entrances on. Oh well. But as you guys can see here, it's my advocate Keo going up against Lars Sullivan again. Surprise! I'm, su I'm surprised Lars didn't no show this, like he no showed the pay per view bout they were supposed to have. Let's not talk about that. Also, I did burn my hand, so if I play a little janky, that's why. Spanish fly. I was gonna say, I was not joking about the new arena. I'll figure out why entrances were off uh, later after this match. But it seems like Kyo is having a bit of trouble. As Lars takes out my advocate's knee. Kicks out on one though. Piece of fucking donkey dick. Good old Undertaker move right here. I also did edit my move set a little. Oh shit. Oh 
Loris is straight up disrespecting Keel. Bitch. Dropkick from Keel. He's filling himself now. Combination of strikes. I'm pretty sure that was the KTFO, if I remember correctly. Probably don't. Oh well. Get on my bird. God. It's RB instead of LB. Get over there. Three. Bounce his head right off their announce table. Oh! His face hits the steel post. Four. Yeah, steel post. That's it. Five. Oh! He was trying to bust this man open. Six. And who can blame him? Lars is a piece of shit in real life. Straight up disrespect. Kamehameha! Wait, did Kyo just remove the turnbuckle? Ah! His sternum, bro! Again, my guy, chill. Good old Beta Roo. That's for us. Two. That's only three. That's only three. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I don't even want to. I, I, I don't even know where to begin with that. Two. Oh, there we go. Forgot how to enable that. Four. Hey, yo! Bro, I hurt my own knee from doing that. Like in real life, I shit you not. Seven. Caught him right in the nick of time. One. Kill does not want it to end this on a count out. Even though, who would blame him? Mars doesn't deserve this kind of uh, respect. Again with the combination of strikes and the uppercut. Woo. Yo, what the fuck? I didn't even know why I had this in the vault. <laughs> Flying clothesline, I think that was. I'm pretty sure I pressed um reverse. Okay, I'm getting no reversal prompts. What the fuck is this about? Did this match turn into a squash match halfway through? Nope. Bitch ass hole. The fuck was that about? Oh, I, uh. I didn't time that right. Or is this a. Unleashing everything on Keel.
Booth does press again. Busted him wide open. What is Kill thinking here? Wait, is, it, is he going for the Van Terminator? Nope. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's able to pull it off. The good old 2000 SmackDown Arena. Gotta love it. Ooh, right on the back of the neck. The crowd is chanting, this is awesome, and I quite frankly agree. Can I reset the count? What the fuck? It's gonna be a rope break. No, it's not. Kill makes Laura submit. <laughs> and the crowd is not happy at this outcome. <laughs> Many would consider this an upset, Byron. Yeah, hard fart victory for the superstar, but he definitely earned it. Laura tries a sneak attack. But Kim won't have it. Out of my ring! Jokes aside, have you guys seen the new uh, trailer for Robert, Rob Patterson's Batman movie? It looks amazing. As you guys can see, I chose the 2000 Smackdown Arena. My personal favorite Smackdown Arena, to be honest. The following contest <laughs> is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 235 pounds. My advocate. The king of old school, <laughs> Kyle. I have the music volume low for a reason, uh, you know, claims and whatnot. If I keep on getting claimed, I'm probably gonna just turn on, uh, turn off entrances and whatnot. Nothing I did, I can do though. Know? Showing off that sexy ass t shirt made by yours truly. Link in bio. You can get it yourself. <laughs> Facing Apollo Crews again. If they wanted simplistic designs for arenas, they could have just went back to this with SmackDown. It would cost way less money. But, you know, Vince is Vince.
Oh shit! Apollo came up running out the gate. I was not expecting that. I was sending a message. My advocate got got uh got got uh got fucked. Yep, that's it. He's a fucking donkey dick. Mana. Assault. B? Oh, suck a muddle on you. Oh, hell yeah. Right on the fucking dome, I think. That's a concussion. Was that not reversible? Excuse me? Hey, oh, fuck all of this shit. Ex what? I, I. I'm reversing here. I'm pressing Y. That's a question. Why? Spanish fly once again. Give us out lighting up the assault. Boom. Oh wait, what? I was not expecting a reversal. No one's ever reversed that before. We 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 don't talk about what just happened, okay? Like, let's don't. Uh, Apollo reversed again? Okay, that was, uh, yeah. I was not expecting two reversals in a row from Apollo. But I guess I can't really, uh, count them out. Fast press. Stomp to the face. Whew. This match has been one for the ages so far. Wait, what is Gil thinking? Spiderplex? Guess so. Coup de gras. Ow. That's two broken feet. Like I should, you know, that that's two broken legs right there. Talk to the face again. Wait, is he going for it? I think he's going for it. Reversal? Follow reverses? He reverses. But Apollo's back just literally gave out on him. That's a uh, sad poggers. He's gotta retire after this. Please don't take away my fucking signature. God damn it! Throw away my signature. Fuck faces. Phoenix Splash, would well, that put him away? One. Two. You never learned, do you, Apollo? Yo, get me out of here. Who the fuck is this man? Taking liberties with the story.
He's taking liberties with the story. He's taking liberties with the script. What's going on? He took liberties with the with the script. What the fuck? Five, six, seven, uh, no, sir. I I knew what you were doing. The next flash. Is he going for? It? I think he's going for. It. Looks like he's setting up for it. Both these men are wary. He has him in position. All hail the macho man himself. Who did I put him away? One, two. Three. Woo. <laughs> what a match by both men. Oh shit. Lars was... Lars is not having it. He wants to penetrate me like all those men he penetrated. Or so I'm not into that. To beat down his opponent here after the match. The animosity, um, a, 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 animosity between these two superstars made between the two superstars made uncomfortably uncomfortably clear that their rivalry means more than winning and losing. This is personal, and there will be violence. I don't get it because I never fought. I've never had anything to do with Lars Sullivan in my life. I mean, uh. My client, my advocate, the king of old school, Keel, has never once interacted with Lars Sullivan before joining the main roster a few weeks ago. This makes no sense.